Okay, here we have a little PowerPoint presentation showing how a J valve, J reserve valve works. And as you see here on the screen, uh, you have air pressure coming in here. You have main valve right here. This is the main cracking valve for the uh, the the, main, the J valve itself. Uh, and over here is your J reserve valve. See, so actually, you have two valve seats in the same uh, tank valve. And the first action, the main tank valve is opened up uh, with a uh, pressure between 2,400 and 3,000 psi. And there's your 2,400 to 3,000 psi. Main tank valve is open, air flows through. And second action, the higher pressure here forces the reserve valve backward, okay, to allow full airflow to the tank exit orifice up here. And uh, is the with the J valve in the quote unquote up or non uh, reserve position. And there it is, the tank pressure is filling up, forcing that reserve valve back, and you get full flow at the top. Okay, next slide shows, okay, that okay, uh, you now have reduced pressure to between 500 and 700 PSI here. And the third action is tank is drained out, you know, but it can start in right at about 800, uh, but let's say, we'll just say for GP, anywhere between 500 and 700 PSI, okay, overall pressure is reduced uh, in the valve body itself. And you can see this is just a graphic showing that the pressure is reduced. And yeah, there it goes down, of course. And the fourth action inside the J valve, okay, lower tank pressure, okay, allows the reserve valve to overcome the force of the tank pressure uh, and begins to close or restrict the airflow dramatically to the uh, orifice up here uh, due to uh, spring pressure, spring tension in here. And here it is. There it is, the spring tension is moving forward and you can see the flow is starting to close off. There's a, there's a, an orifice here, an orifice here, but that orifice is starting to close. It won't generally close completely though in most J valves. It will just start restricting airflow. Okay, in the last slide here, all right, so we're gonna activate the J valve. In the fifth action, okay, the diver's alerted because he's not, you know, you can feel that restricted flow coming through your uh, regulator mouthpiece and he activates his J valve up here uh, by pulling down on the activation rod which retracts the, uh, the uh, reserve valve and allows for unrestricted airflow access to the remaining 300 or 400 PSI in the tank uh, to be used for his ascent to the surface. And okay, we're pulling down on the J valve and notice it pulls back on the reserve valve and that's the J valve in the quote unquote down or activated position. And flow resumes, albeit it's still a lower pressure, you still get fuller flow and enough pressure to sit there and enough uh, air in your tank to get you to uh, uh, up to the surface safely. Uh, thank you for watching.